Hi. So I get another Chris Maloney. Right. Um, hey there. I'm totally proud of you for commenting and inspiring me on my Instagram posts. Though a thousand thoughts might overtake everything I know, your love is enough to bring values to my career work. I'm thankful that the expression of your love is like the attraction of a fish to the ocean. And I hope you say, stay safe as you keep being the best that you can. Kiss. Best regards. Chris Maloney. Now, if that isn't an indication that this is a copy and paste scammer thing, I don't know what. I've never met anyone who's ever written anything like that. Okay, I said, that's quite a mouthful you wrote there, lol. Uh, you're welcome, I guess. Oh, yes! Thank you for your time and response on here. I hope you wouldn't mind telling me how long you've been a fan of my work. I'm getting really sick of being asked that. I'm not sure. It's not like I count the days, lol. I liked you in Law and Order, and of course, I just finished watching Happy, which was great. And yes, it was. Well, I appreciate you for sharing with me and also being a source of inspiration by your lovely words. Pardon me, what city are you connecting from? I said, I'm in Australia, not the US. Australia, he exclaims. Where in Oz? I said, New South Wales. I used to live in Victoria, but moved for work. Good to know. I also have heard many lovely things about your place, and I have a great passion to spend a vacation there in Australia. Smiley face. They do this so that they're laying the groundwork of saying, oh, I might come over for a holiday or whatever. It, it's all part of the scam. What do you do for a living there in New South Wales? I said, you've been here several times. I don't know if Chris Maloney has or hasn't. I think he probably has. I don't know, but neither does the scammer, so who cares? I said, I'm an English professor, literature. Yeah, I was even wondering how sweet your communication with me on here seems to me, and I'm sure your work also uh, contributes to it. Although, it's obvious that you work with quite a large number of people. How do you deal with tough colleagues or students? <laughs> I'll give him credit for being original. I've never had that asked. I have no issues, to be honest, I said. I've yet to encounter someone unpleasant and unprofessional. I don't associate with unpleasant and rude people. The truth is not everyone can take up a job like yours because it requires keen attention. And I'm happy that you're so far enjoying your experience. So what has been your toughest experience in your career field? And what are your day-to-day -day activities like? And this is fishing for information because they'll write this. They'll Then they'll use whatever I say in an attempt to become more... Um, capable at scamming and being able to convince victims that what they do is actually real. I said, sorry, what? My day-to-day -day activities? Um, go to work, hold lecture, mark papers and go home. That's a broad question. Yes, it's a broad question, but you answered it perfectly right. I wanted to know if the nature of your job is the same as other English professors. <laughs> You seem to be a nice person and would continue the conversation some other time when opportune. Once more, thank you for making me know more about you and I hope you stay safe. So either this guy has actually um, got a very, very good book, Scammer Handbook, or he's actually experienced. And I'm actually starting to think he's got a little bit of experience. So this is going to be interesting for me. I want to see how challenging this guy is. So, were you testing me or something? I don't appreciate that at all. I responded. I was grumpy that day and I didn't like his condescending tone. Hey, Finnish. I really feel sorry to have said or discussed what isn't cool for you, but can you tell me what I did wrong? I said nothing. It just sounded really patronising when you said I'd answered your question right. Oh, I never made it look that way because I only complimented you on true fact. Hope you're doing good. I left it. I couldn't. I just couldn't. I said, you see, you're doing it again. Maybe it's just your tone. Never mind. I'm fine. I just got up for work. So what are you up to? He doesn't answer all day. He comes back that night quite late. Hmm. Now I'm completely confused because I really can't observe what you're talking about. Well, 
I hope there isn't something wrong with it. I come back 24 hours later. I went, no, it's all good. How are you today then? Okay, if it's not something offensive, then it's all good, he says. I'm having a great day as I met with old colleagues today. How about you? I said, I've been at work since five. Just having some coffee now. It's almost seven in the morning. Really? Smiley face. So how's work really going? I said, it's very busy today. I'm hoping to get out early as I've had such an early start. I hope so too. I hope you've also eaten something, right? Reverting back to the scammer favourite. I was so hoping that this one was going to be a little bit more interesting. But we'll see. I said, sure. Why? Do you want to send me something? Ha ha ha. You're amazingly funny and I love it that way. Well, if you've not eaten, I would have asked you to put on your zender to connect me on my launch. And then he corrected it as lunch. I don't know what zender is. I'm assuming it's an American Uber Eats or something. I just, I didn't have the wherewithal to say anything. I just went LOL. Yeah, guess you're done working now, he says at 10 in the morning. I said, no, you messaged me at 10 a.m. Still at work. Oh, okay, honey. I'm completely sorry for not being here. I've been busy. I'm also barely active on Instagram, as I do on Google Chat. Hope you're available on Google Chat. I said, it's okay. I honestly didn't notice. I've had a crazy busy week and then went out last night, so all good. Sure, send me your email and I'll add you up today. Really? Hope the week has been a successful one for you. And sent me Chris Maloney official dot ink at gmail.com or whatever. I said, sure it has. It's been great. Just busy. I'll add you soon. I'm at the shop already. Please do make sure you keep it private. I don't like giving out my Gmail. I said, sure. No worries. All right. Thanks for your understanding. Love heart. And then I sent a message. I said, I sent a message. I've got a minute or two before I go out. He hasn't responded yet. We'll see. I'm actually getting a, a weird niggling feeling that this is a scammer that's tried before, but with a different celebrity that I've called out. His English at the beginning was just way too good. But, but we'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated. Bye.